This is the Craftsman 2000 series cabinet that I bought and I'm going to do a little video to show you how I built it. Hopefully it will help you out with the steps. I actually bought it at Lowe's for $269 on sale and it was one of the more cheaper ones that I could find out there. Um, a lot of them were, were over that. Now it's not on sale and it's going for $319. This is November of 2022 so it may actually go back on sale for Black Friday if you keep a lookout there. Um, here you can see the Craftsman logo and the Made in USA with Global Materials. And I hope you like it. And to hang out at the end and I'll show you kind of my organization of the cabinet shelves inside. Made with materials. With global materials. So what we got here is all the hardware. It comes in a nice big bag. Put that off to the side. These are for attaching it to a wall. Okay, so here's mine. Last part, you can see the last side of it in the box. There's the other side, so you have two sides and tops. Captain Obvious, here we go. Okay, so one thing I try to be careful of is your hardware that they give you. Here we've got the screws, different little things to go with it. You know, just make sure that uh, everything's in its right place and order. I don't recommend you take out stuff beforehand and just kind of spread it all over the place because if you never put one of these together, things can easily go missing if you know what I mean. So. Uh, there's the hardware basically that goes with it. And I'm going to take this over there and see if I can figure out what to do with the instructions. They give you a list, by the way, if you've never put one of these things together, of uh, tools required. Now we'll see if I need all these. Um, you know, you've got everything from socket wrench to square to drill to stud finder so keep that in mind okay so what we got here now is assembly number one and it wants us to use the button head screws quantity of three and the serrated flange nut and the back so here's your back so what we're going to do is if i didn't mention already i don't think i did use this material they gave you to keep you from scratching it on your garage so you're going to use basically uh, this little white stuff they give you right there to kind of put together. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these two together and we're going to marry them like that. But to make sure I'm getting the camera on that. And then we'll just take it all the way down there. And I will show a few. As soon as I get these uh, things out. Now when you're looking at this, they're not going to label anything for you. You just got to figure out what the difference is between the button head and the carriage bolt. Which the carriage bolts 
are basically these doodads right here, I believe. And your butt and head are going to be these little guys. These are going to be your little button heads, as far as I can tell. Or maybe those are, yeah, those should be your button heads. And you got your flange nut. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna put one there this time. There's no washer. At least they don't tell you to put a washer in there. Let's see. No, it just says button head to the uh, this little guy right here. We're gonna screw them in there. Don't tighten it all the way. I say we are, but we'll see. We'll see how see how that works out. Something that I like to do is match my picture to what you see here. Little indications like these little circles. They can kind of help you guide yourself as you're looking at it. So you put those in. You just go right in. And I assume we are going to tighten as we go. Beautimus, beautimus. And as you see, a little a little hex thing they give you to tighten it down a little bit. You don't want it to be too loose, but you don't want it to be too tight either. Not that I'm any authority on anything. Price is as good as what you pay for, I suppose. And I will tighten these harder later. Because this thing is probably going to be a beast when we finally get it all together, weight wise. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to set it up on Zen. We'll see if I'm strong enough, if my weakling arms can do it. Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Righty tight, folks. Righty tight. And so there we go. We've got that part done. So we now have a backing. Okay, so I'm putting this together now. And the instructions don't really explain this too well to you, but what you have here are your sides. And you have these little holes right there. And you have to line them up with this hole. And so, honestly, all this is kind of a two-person job, and I have my lovely assistant here to help me out today. But I'm going to try to get this hole lined up with that hole, and you're going to put your, your little flange nut in there as well. So, put the camera down, and I'll show you how I do that while she holds it for me. It doesn't say to use washers, so there you go. No washer, no washer required, I guess. And what I'll do is just keep them fairly loose so that I can adjust it a little bit. And it really is kind of a two-person job if you do have somebody to help you out so they can hold the stuff while you're putting the screws in. 
And if you don't have person, if you don't have a second person, what I did was I used this box to kind of hold it up. So there you go. And I put the top one in and the bottom one in. And now I'm going to try to put the two middle ones in. And actually, I'm not even sure if I need the top and bottom ones yet. So I'm probably going to. We'll have to see what the directions say because the bottom ones might need to be put in with the bottom. The bottom piece that keeps it together. So, so we shall see. Can you put your other box? as hard as you can and struggle. And there you go, there's one side. And then you rinse and repeat for the second side. Okay, so I've got this side in. We've got both sides in now, as you can see. And we will put the tops and bottoms in, I think, from here. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so now we're going to do the top. You can see the top part. Is, there's that part. And then over here is the Craftsman logo. And we're going to take it over here. And it will go on as such. Like that. And we'll see how we get that done. And same thing, you're gonna put the uh, little screws together on each end as far as I know. Maybe I should actually read the directions. Actually, you're gonna do these with the carriage bolts at the top, which are these little guys. And we're gonna put those in the top part and see how that goes. All right, here we got the top on, and we got two of those carriage bolts that go right there and two on the other side and I have my less lovely assistant help me out right there <laughs> uh, and then uh, what we're gonna do is next is find the bottom which I think goes on in the instructions again you got your carriage nuts here and something to note in this whole package is that you don't get the um, the washers go with the carriage nuts and the button head screws so keep that in mind all right y'all what we've got so far now i've put all the shelves in each one at a time so the trick with this is that all the shelves are the exact same including the bottom so here's your bottom you've got the bottom here and what you do is you come in like this and then you put it in each little slot as needed and then you just kind of scoot it to wherever you want it down here. And then you find the actual slot. All right, so now when you're doing this, you're gonna put this in there. This is your bottom part, and it goes in the same way as your top part does. And you put these two screws in as such, and then it'll go in like that. Okay, so here's what we got. These two need to be attached. This is your bottom piece, and it's got the bottom where all the screws go for each piece. You have four screws. That'll be how you adjust it to the height that you want. And there's, there's your corner pieces. And we've already put these in where you got your each little piece with those carriage bolts that go into each little shelf. And we've got them stuck down in here. You can see that for each shelf. Okay, so this part, keep in mind that this outer shelf you want to keep on the inside so that you have all of that nice and snug and then we're going to put these bolts in okay y'all so we've got it pretty much assembled at least the outer shell now and what you got on the side you're going to use those two if i can find my thing here you got these two bolts here and they go in back here right there they go in with a, they go in with these nuts nuts and bolts and no washer so you're going to do that and then you'll go down 
the side and you'll put these like so. Then the bottom is the same deal. And what we're going to do is lift it up and put it on its end in a minute and then we'll put the back ones in. But we may go ahead and put the bottom adjusters in so that we don't have to put it back on its end. So do that. here we go with this. We've got all four of these in. And now we're going to stand it up on its end so that we can put the back ones in. Right here. All right, you ready? Alright y'all, this is uh, the back of it here. But one thing to keep in mind, this is not really a one person job because you're not going to be able to put your Allen head on this and then put your arm. I mean I guess you could do it but it's going to be a strain for sure to be able to get that tighten so you're pretty much going to need a buddy or somebody to help you tighten each one of these on the back unless you just go unless you tighten them on the ground maybe so keep that in mind as you do it okay so what we're doing is tightening the front carriage bolts into place with each one of these There you go. Now what we're doing is putting the doors on. And you can tell right here, you gotta put each one down in each spot. Okay, those are ready. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's each little um, hinge. If you can see that, each one of those has to be kind of taken out so that you can put it up against the uh, the holes and screw them in. And these are the screws that screw them in. Those little guys right there. Okay, the last part here is the, uh, well, one of the last parts, is putting the, the old lock in. So it's pretty easy. All you do is just, you use this, put it in basically like this, and you're going to take it in the hole, point it down, so that it locks in place when you're ready to put it in. And there it goes. Sorry about the shake of hand. And there it is. And that's how you build a Craftsman uh, cabinet. 
All right, everybody, thank you for watching the video, and I hope that it helped you out. If you're buying one of these or building one, or just the basic things you gotta go through or do. So here's the inside of the actual cabinet itself, now that I've had it for a few weeks. The first thing that I did, and you'll notice this if you've never had one of these, is that these shelves are metal, so you can scratch them if you're not careful. Um, I bought these little liner things at Home Depot. They're not cheap, maybe at least 15 bucks a roll. And, um, but they're gonna help with non-sliding and just making sure that everything stays in this place. They really make it a lot nicer. Um, on the side you have peg holes. I need to buy some pegs. I've got my flashlights. My magnetic flashlights on the side. Um, down here I've got my shop vac and a few other little um, drills and toolbox things. My cleaning supplies and a few miscellaneous other things. Toolbox where I keep some of my woodworking stuff and my tool bag. Up here I've got cleaning supplies and a few other car things. And that's pretty much it. I did have to adjust, keep that in mind. You'll have to adjust these shelves as you're going through because you're gonna to need to figure out. I like to have a little bit more space down to the bottom so that I could put the shop back down there and put some of the bigger, heavier things down there. And other than that though, um, good luck with your uh, build. Thanks everybody.